This is Damian McNamara, Global Medical News Network, and I'm at the Skin Disease Education Foundation's Women's and Pediatric Dermatology Seminar in San Francisco. With me is Dr. Sheila Fallon Friedlander of the University of California, San Diego. Thank you for coming to talk sure. to me. My first question is, uh, you're doing a presentation here about diaper dermatitis. Can you explain what your approach is to your differential diagnosis of these patients? Well, the vast majority of kids who come in with diaper dermatitis have garden variety disease. They're not um, harboring some hor horrendous underlying condition. But for mothers, it is a horrendous situation. Often uh, women who have first time babies or young children who they feel are suffering or they perceive something that is a failure on their part to make their children feel comfortable, um, it becomes a big deal. Now if I have a child who despite doing all the right things, the skin doesn't look good, uh, I then think about yeast because that's the next most common thing. And those children often will have classic signs. They'll have little satellite lesions around the border. They'll have an eroded red beefy surface. They'll sometimes have thrush in the mouth, and that's a good hint for you. And those children then I move to an antifungal therapy. And there are a number of things that we can do. One is, of course, to keep the area dry and clean, but also we need to use an antifungal. And there are now available some combination products, which make it a lot easier on mom. So when I tell mom to deal with this kind of problem, I tell her to keep the area clean and dry, not to use a lot of irritating detergents. Uh, and then we need to try to treat the yeast with an antifungal, and then we need to use a barrier to protect the area. So that's a lot of work for mom. And fortunately, there are a couple of products on the market now. There's a combination product, Triple Paste AF, that has a barrier protective agent, zinc and mineral oil, and and antifungal and fusion ointment is another product which is available and which has undergone a lot of scrutiny and study and been shown to be efficacious for the treatment of um, candida diaper derm. What raises your clinical suspicion most regarding that derm diaper dermatitis is a more serious condition? You want to look at the patient. Is he or she healthy, thriving, growing? Does he have vomiting, diarrhea? Is he, uh, to you, does he look pallid? Does the child look sick? Um, the next thing is the physical exam. Are there lesions elsewhere? Don't just focus on the diaper area. Look at the entire exam. Does this baby have lesions on the scalp and other areas of the skin? Such lesions could be an indicator of something as simple as scabies or as complicated as longer hound cell histiocytosis. When is a condition so serious that a dermatologist really should think about referring them to a specialist? I think if you've done all the reasonable things, if you've treated this child with good barriers, used an antifungal cream, tried to make sure there's no irritant that's causing a problem, uh, looked at the child and can't find the source, then I think it's reasonable uh, to refer to a specialist. There are certain things where you really need to refer quickly if the child has a fever, if the child has a particular rash that is associated with Kawasaki's disease. This is a disease where time is of the essence. So in that condition, it's usually more confluent. Often you'll have a, a desquamation, a sort of confluent scaling on the surface. And those kids look sick. They have fever. They may have injected eyes, red lips. That child needs to be seen right away. If you have a child who has a big liver, spleen, who looks like a failure to thrive, you don't want to waste a lot of time with that child. Those kids need to be sent on to someone who can further investigate uh, other possible underlying causes of the problem. Okay, and lastly, I just want to give you my disclosure that the Skin Disease Education Foundation and the news organization, for me, are wholly owned subsidiaries of Elsevier. Do you have any financial disclosure relevant to your diaper dermatitis yeah. presentation? The major conflict would be that I was on an advisory board and took part in studies looking at fusion ointment, which is um, a diaper dermatitis treatment. That's one of the combination products you mentioned, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. This has been Damian McNamara, Global Medical News Service. Thank you, Dr. Freelander, for talking about this.